Good morning. Welcome to Worship with Pleasantville Presbyterian Church. We're glad that you've joined us this morning. We have a few announcements to begin. There are a few things we want to celebrate. First, last week during in-person worship, we celebrated the confirmation of Camilla Braun, shown here with her family. We are thankful for her journey as she took the vows made for her at her baptism. Second, we have had a wonderful version of a sale this week, a new version of Rummage called the Pop-Up Sale. It's been a great attempt to help the community recycle, help the people of our area who needed clothes and housewares and toys find what they needed. It was a joy to watch people work together again. Lots of people came and lots of people worked and I want to say thank you to the team that put it together, headed by Ruth Fisher. Friends, this is the day that the Lord has made. Come, let us worship our living God. Let us join in our prayer of confession. God of salvation and grace, do not forsake us in our sinfulness. Forgive us and draw us closer to you. In our desolation and desperation, walk with us and lead us on the paths of righteousness. Reclaim us and rename us that we may know your presence and sense your delight. Amen. Friends, hear the good news. As far as the East is from the West, so far has God removed our transgressions from us. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is God's love for us. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. Let us greet one another with the peace of Christ. Peace to everybody. May the peace be with you. May the peace be with you. 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 Peace be with you, everyone. Peace be with you. Good morning, church. Today's reading is from Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter the gates with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. 
For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Welcome to Choir Sunday. What an awesome week to be praising and worshiping together on Choir Sunday. Welcome. I hope that you've been enjoying the music so far. I know I certainly have. It makes me think of all the reasons why I love Choir Sunday. Obviously, the music is fantastic. The lyrics are moving and inspiring. There's a group of individuals up there that like are just nailing it. They've been working so hard to make this thing happen. And just it just sounds great. It's so uplifting. You know, it's just this like purest form of expression and emotion that we can communicate when we sing the song. What a gift. And it, it actually it inspires me to want to sing and to want to lift my voice in praise. But sometimes I think like, well, I don't really have a fancy robe or a, an awesome team or group of people to sing with. I don't have a choir. I'm a director. Um, and sometimes it might look weird singing by myself. So this week I decided to think about that. And I was like, wait, Maybe I need to go get some motivation from the Book of Songs, a.k.a. Psalms, even sounds like songs. I hope one day you check it out. And I found this verse, it was verse 100, which I think we'll hear later in the sermon, but, oh, excuse me, in the service. But I just, I just came to this, realize that after reading this psalm, like you don't need to be fancy or talented or special in order to sing a song of praise. And here's the reasons why. They say in the psalm, we can shout for joy. Not just singing, shout. Anyone can shout. We can worship with gladness. I think we're fully capable, anyone being glad, even if you're like, yes, thank you, Lord. Uh, sing grateful songs. Maybe we have a faithful, uh, favorite song, a, a, a grateful song. Maybe you have a favorite song from church services or from way back in the day in vacation Bible school or something. And if the, the worst comes to worst, maybe there's something on the radio or a CD player you can sing along with or whatever streaming device you have. Um, and we can, anyone can give thanks and praise his name. So anyone can lift a, great, a grateful and a gleeful noise and shout for the Lord. Actually, if you think about it, anytime we make a noise with our voice, we are almost singing because we're making a vocalization. So think about just saying some words out loud and you're pretty much there. And by the way, if we needed a reminder why, I love the last part of this psalm. It says, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. So that's a pretty impressive thing that, to, that we need to remember and that God offers us every day and wants to remind us. And we just need to lift our voices to make that happen and to express gratefulness at that idea. So I have a challenge for everyone. At some point this week, you might be riding in the car and I want you to take up the car ride karaoke challenge. Are you in? So what the challenge is, is that at some point this week, it could be in the morning, it could be in the afternoon, it could be at night, it could be any time you're in the car, you got to lift a, voice, a, a grateful noise or some sort of song. No one will be around. You'll be driving. Maybe your favorite song comes on or something. And in that song, maybe it's a, a song that has different lyrics, not necessarily praising the Lord, but maybe it makes you feel grateful. And I want you to think about God when you're singing that song. Or there's a song that comes on the radio that you're listening to, and it, it is a song of praise to God. And whichever it is, I want you to blast that out as you are in the car. So, for example, let me give you a little verse here. Maybe you know this one. It goes, Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Oh, yeah. Sing again. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. So you can take that one with you if you want. It's just a reminder that we need to sing in grateful praise. and We need to lift our voices as often as we can. So let's close with prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to sing, to shout, to praise, to be grateful, to express our hearts in a pure form that is just pure emotion towards you, Lord. We pray that you can give us the confidence. We pray that you can give us the get out of our comfort zone-ness. Uh, and we pray that we can just be there and be proud and loud and, and express ourselves to show that we just want to worship you and thank you and praise you. In your name we say, amen. Friends, this morning we celebrate the gift of music. All the anthems you are about to hear were sung by the Pleasantville Presbyterian Church Chancel Choir under the direction of Dr. David McDonald with Evan Klosser on piano and Wendy Zaros as the solo soprano. 
The music itself comes from a genre called shake note or sacred harp singing. Our choir director explained some of the basics of this genre saying, for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why, the quality of voice matters less in shape note singing than in the traditional English European style hymnody our church sings every week. In such traditional choir singing, we try for some modicum of blending and purity of note. If some individual in the choir intones a vowel in a way that's different from everyone else, the group's sound will try to come together in one place. But in sacred harp or shape note singing, a diversity of vocal timbers is an asset. If one person is singing the word savior as savior, and the other as savior, the resulting sound will only grow more satisfying. In this way, it resembles the democratic ideals that were coalescing into a new nation at the time the singing style was emerging. The credo of this music could be, bring your voice, such as it is, and join in. Diversity is strength. May we hear and celebrate the good news in music today and learn from the message it brings.
Dear God, as we gather the, together this morning, we give you thanks for the many gifts you give us, for the gifts of creation, for the talents that you give us, for the ability to make music and hear music and enjoy the way it moves in and through us. We pray that we might hold your Holy Spirit within us and share your love with all people. May we remember that diversity is strength. Lord, we ask for help today for those who are in need, those who are struggling with illness or pain. We pray for your healing touch to be with them. For those who are hungry, we pray that they might be fed. For those who are lonely, that they might feel connected and part of something bigger than themselves. We pray for those who are grieving, that you might walk with them, guide them, lead them through a journey that can be difficult. Lord, we pray for new ways to serve and love you. Open us, our eyes, our ears, our hearts, and our minds, so that in all that we do, we might show your love. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now let us go forward from this place, certain in our knowledge of the love of God, the peace of Christ Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. 
It's a new day, it's a new life for me And I'm feeling good, oh yeah Dragonfly out in the sun, you know what I mean. Butterflies all having fun, you know what I mean. Sleep in peace till the day is done, you know what I mean. In this whole world, it's a bold world and a new world for me. And I'm feeling good. Centre of the pie.